We are now in a Kia Soul Electric, the 30 kilowatt hour one. And you probably recognize this car. This is the car I use when I race uh, Powell in the Jaguar I-Pace. Yeah, it's the same car. <laughs> so uh, I've been measuring uh, sound level. Let me show, Let me show you that, by the way. So I've been measuring the sound level before I came here. So I will look at the results later, as usual. I'm going to give it to you in the end of the video. Uh, let's put it back there. And uh, now I will, well, not sure what to do. I mean, I'm going to measure the 90 kilometers per hour uh, as usual, just for fun. I mean, I've done it before with another car. And I measure about 28 kilowatt hours. So I just want to verify that it is 28 kilowatts hour available. Uh, it's a bit weird because most... Uh, at least the Hyundai is, well, and the, and the Kia and Niro, you know, uh, the the available. I mean, whatever they brand it, uh, you know, like they say, twenty eight kilowatt hours or sixty four kilowatt hours, it's actually available energy. Uh, so we should get thirty kilowatt hours out of this car then. Hmm. So yes, I'm charging it up now, right now. So first, I charge over there at the fast charger to ninety four percent. This car will force you to stop at ninety four percent, and that's not a soul by the way. Not it's not this car. Uh, and then to go to hundred percent, we have to use AC. So I'm uh, connected to the AC over here. This is uh, twenty two kilowatt, uh, but uh, I'm only getting seven point four kilowatt from it. So um, it's going fairly fast to hundred uh, percent. It has, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, it has a 32 amp onboard charger, so I'm um, 96%, so 15% left. I'm oh, sorry, 15 uh, minutes left, yeah. And then I guess once we start driving, I will use what well, eco mode is on. Um, I will use driver only. Uh, and I think that's it. Leave everything automatic, 21 degrees Celsius, yeah. And then drive at nine, well, 90 kilometers per hour, which is 95 or 96 on the speedometer. Yeah, bored. Been sitting here way too long. Ooh, ooh. Kind of like that, yeah. Oh shit! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's that's a little bit too cold. Yeah, it's minus seven degrees Celsius outside. Okay, Wait, can we take it? Okay, let's close that one. But I kind of like that panorama roof. Okay, so if you click it like singular, then it opens up and it's like it gives much more light in the room here. Yeah, cool. What the heck is this? Uh, it's like a long shaft. Uh, you know, I, I think it's a weapon. Yeah, it's a, it's because it's it's kind of sharp here. I think this is for decapitating uh, people. Uh, maybe you know we can. There could be like highway robbery. So you just mm. yeah. You know, it's a nice shaft. I have no idea what it is used for. Uh, I've been driving EV all my life. Yeah. Um, all right, let's wait a little bit more then. Oh, finally, 100%, and it says remaining time zero, but I think now, you see, um, look there, it's um, blue. I think it's still drawing power because the heater is on, so if we stop the car... Then it should stop. I heard a little click there. Mm. Yeah, but we are 100%, so let's, uh, let's roll. All right. Oh yes, we are on the move, and the first thing I'm gonna check is the weight and the weight distribution. So, I guess this one is uh, similar to Ionic, right? 1,600 kilos total. So let's check the front axle first. Uh, There-ish. Oh, this is more front heavy, 960 with 75 kilo driver. All right, 960, and then there, the whole car, oh, you see, 1680, all right. Seven twenty. yeah. Okay, so this is more like 
more like most cars, you know, uh, more front heavy, which is actually it's not a bad thing because it's a it's a front wheel drive, so you want to have more uh, weight on the front wheels. Hmm, I wonder. I only had 50% 50/50 weight distribution, so maybe Ionic uh, spins more. I don't know because it has less pressure on the front wheels. It's also front wheel drive. Well, let's hammer it. See the windsock there? Yes, we have headwind. Yeah, it's it's common to have headwind uh, when we are on the way north now. So um, that means the consumption will be somewhat high in the beginning, and then when we turn around, we get tailwind. Let me see how uh, it kind of I kind of feel the wind a little bit. See the windsock there, the second one there. Yeah. All right. So uh, consumption so far is. Oh, it's 194, yeah, it's, it's hovering around 190 something, but it's still too early, so we have to uh, see in a little while. We have been driving for half an hour, we are down to 72%, and uh, you know, according to Google, it is um, 46 kilometers to this turnaround point here. Right, uh, 46 kilometers, and if you look at the speedometer here, Oh, and at the trip meter, it's spot on. 45.7. Okay, let me switch off this one. You see, 4.8, 4.9. 46, right there, right here. Yeah. So, um, that means that the, the trip meter and Google is correct. I also tested to here and back to Nebenes. And then it says uh, 92 kilometers. Uh, because many people have been asking, hey, uh, your speedometer is uh, you know, uh, off by 5-6%. What about um, uh, trip meter? Trip meter must also be off by the same percentage. Well, apparently not. The trip meter is spot on, whereas uh, the speedometer is showing incorrect values. So, uh, yeah. Alright, let's go back then. Damn, look at that. We have frost on the Mjösen today. By Mjösen, yeah. It's a lake, Norway's biggest lake. It's so cold outside now. Uh, it's minus 7 degrees Celsius. So uh, we have worse driving condition today than we had tomorrow. With, and it's like, <laughs> I'm not going back to the future. Uh, we have worse condition today than we had yesterday when we tried uh, uh, Ionic and uh, <laughs> Ionic managed 156 watt hour per kilometer on the on the 90 kilometers per hour test so uh, but you know it was 210 at the point where we turned around and now we are riding on the tailwind and especially this car which has aerodynamic as a brick will uh, benefit from the tailwind greatly yeah so we have to see by the time we get back to uh, Nebenes we see yeah, we are done 65 kilometers so far. Uh, okay, 59%. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep riding. We have been driving for one hour and 22 minutes. We are down, kind of low now. It's uh, 120 kilometers. This is the great thing about testing cars with short range is that it doesn't take too long. Yeah, unlike Kona. Well, our man is going to be pain in the butt with a new uh, Kia Soul, 64 kilowatt hour. But um, okay, so 25 kilometers left on GOM, and uh, it says 20 percent now. So yeah, we can extrapolate the rest. You know, I'm too old to go down to zero. Oh yes, I try a new place, never been there before. What the heck is that? Some fossil getting rescued. She. I thought it was only EVs that broke down. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. Uh, so I don't feel like going back with 13%. So let's let's drive it down a little bit more. Yeah. All right. So GOM says we have 17 kilometers. Yeah. All right. And we're gonna, the good thing about over here is that you can turn around at any point you want. Oh yes, we are finally back at the fast charger and the supercharger. You see them in the background there. Yeah. Ah, those Teslas, yeah. But all right, let's look at some screenshots here. So 
I arrived with 7% and uh, I averaged 198 watt time per kilometer uh, and 137 kilometers of driven, actual driving. So um, I say I, I can do 100 and let's say 140, 145 kilometers then, yeah, on the full charge. This is winter rain, you know, this is winter test, yeah. It's, it's minus seven degrees Celsius and windy, so, uh, uh, but you know, I did the quick math and it seems like uh, we can, um, we can pull out about 29 kilowatt hours from the, from the pack. Now, last time I tested, it was about 28 kilowatt hours. So yeah, again, okay, varies a little bit. But uh, it seems like maybe in order to pull out uh, 30 kilowatt hour, you have to do this in summer with higher temperature and lower consumption. Yeah, because basically, if the battery is colder and you get less capacity, you get get less energy out of it, and also uh, because it's cold, the consumption is high, and with higher consumption, you have more heat loss, um, and then you get like less of that energy is available uh, to to propulsion or whatever. It's just lost, yeah. Why well, is it not lost? I mean, yeah, it's, it's kind of lost in a way. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, you're thinking, oh, wow, almost 200 watt per kilometer. It's higher than I3 I tested. It's higher than Ionic, yeah. Ionic people will be laughing because the Ionic uh, consumed 206 watt per kilometer at the 120 kilometers per hour run. Yeah, so, um, but what should I say? I mean, it has aerodynamics like a brick. So, but at least, you know, this car can take more banana boxes than the Ionic. Huh? Huh? How about that? And just wait, just wait until the 64 kilowatt hour uh, soul is out. Then, uh, who's laughing then, huh? <laughs> but, you know, I bet you guys want to see something. So, how about I do the 120 kilometers per hour run with this brick? <laughs> okay, let me guess. Um, wind, okay, wet road. I'm guessing... 270 yeah yeah 270 watt per kilometer this is th that's like that's like ipace territory so basically there are a few cars that consume more uh, energy than this one which is uh tesla model x is thirstier um maybe not at high speed i'm not sure uh oh env 200 <laughs> it's a freaking van and then ipace and also e-tron yeah Probably four cars. All the other cars, they consume less energy. Yeah. But all right, I'm just gonna juice up a little bit more and then we try the hammer uh, test. Oh yeah, we are on the run now. Yes, we charge to 88%. It's already down to 86%. <laughs> so this is the 120 kilometers per hour test. I just call it the hammer test, yeah. Consumption is sky high, but we just started. So um, yeah, let's wait and see. So, you know what, I think it's too too long and complicated to say uh, 90 kilometers per hour test and, and 120 kilometers per hour test. We're just gonna call it the range test and the hammer test. <laughs> yeah, well, how about the hammer fest? Yeah, that's also nice. Now look, another soul. Yes, yes, schnell, 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 hammer it. <laughs> Yes, we are done with the high speed test. I mean, uh, the hammer test. And uh, <laughs> let's look at some uh, screenshot here. So, you know, I started with 88% and I arrived with 42%. So I burned through 46% in almost no time. <laughs> and then the consumption was 268. That is high, yeah. Uh, very close to my guess. So, uh, other cars like, okay, Ionic uh, consumed 206. But that was better driving conditions than today. And then um, uh, i3s consume uh, 231, which had even better driving condition than this day and the day before again. So I bet i3 today will probably consume 240, 250, but not 268. <laughs> Yeah, so what should I say? Um, it's uh, it's thirsty if you drive hard on winter. So I think in winter, I would probably cruise at around 100-ish kilometers per hour. Yeah, I think at this speed, it's the consumption is so high that uh, you have to stop more often and it doesn't pay off. Yeah, but uh, okay, so now I'm going to go home and then we're going to check out the results from uh, the noise test this morning. Oh, I can't wait to see those faces.
All right, we are back in Oslo now. So I look at the results and here is the big ass table. So I will see that uh, the numbers are more or less like the other cars, you know, they're not too many big variations. I mean, we have to expect that there is some variation said because of uh, other cars in the opposite direction. But at least I made sure that I had no cars passing me or I didn't pass on the other car because that usually creates a big spike of noise. So um, um, this kind of confirms my suspicion that uh, for some reason Ionic is noisier than um, than Seoul. Yeah, I mean, according to these uh, numbers, you know, it's like that. But um, yeah, so all right, I think that's it. So uh, the noise test, that was the last part. Um, there will be one more video where I'm going to test the charging speed because supposedly this one supports 100 kilowatt fast charging. So. Um, I will test uh, one or maybe two chargers to see if I can get that speed or not. So, yeah, but anyway, that's it. The test of the Kia Soul 30 kilowatt hour. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. So, thank you for watching and bye bye.